up you guys welcome to my channel if you guys are new welcome if you guys are returning subscribers hi welcome back my name is olivia and for today's video i wanted to do a what's in my bag featuring my gucci dionysus mini bag so if you guys are interested in seeing what i carry inside this absolutely gorgeous bag then stick around before we begin, I would just like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. I make videos mostly on luxury designer bags, a little bit of beauty, so if that is something you guys enjoy watching, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and without further ado, let's take a look at what I currently have in this bag. This is the Gucci Dionysus mini bag. It has the silver hardware, it has the dual tiger head in the front, it has suede material right here on the sides and also in the interior. This bag you can still purchase from Gucci. I think this may be one of their classic bags now, but it does come in multiple sizes. Um, also different material. I, I know for sure it comes in leather. I don't know if it comes in any other material, but this is the Gucci Supreme canvas version and I purchased this bag pre-loved from eBay. It was in great condition when I got it and since I purchased this back in I think November or December of 2023, I have been using this bag a lot and that says a lot <laughs> because I do have a lot of bags in my collection but I've been using this so much because it's just easy it's convenient for me it's super cute i feel that it's like it can be dressy but it can be totally casual and i'm just like a super casual person i don't really do much i go take my kids to school and then i come back and then i go you know pick up groceries so i don't have a lot of things going on i mean the occasional like birthday parties, bridal showers, baby showers, things like that. Yes, but aside from that, nothing too exciting. But I feel that I've used this bag in weddings already. I use this bag just, again, every day, every day events. <laughs> I really, really love this bag. And before I even get to what's in it, I would highly recommend this bag. This is amazing. And just because it's a mini, don't let that fool you because this can hold a lot of things. So let's dive right in and take a look at what I carry in this bag. And just to let you guys know, I did not clean this out. This is literally how my bag would look. I didn't even like organize anything. This is just what I carry. I just actually got home from picking up the kids from school. So this is what I have. First thing, I have a hand sanitizer. Actually, I have two hand sanitizers because you can never get enough. Um, oh, you know what? Before I take these out, I actually wanted to just show you because I film with my regular phone. I have an 11 Pro and that phone is a little smaller than um the iphone xr this is my son's old phone um, it doesn't have a case though but i just want to show you that the iphone 11 pro or the xr will fit just fine inside this bag with all of the other things that i already have in there so this one doesn't have a case but even if it did it would still fit and let me just close it there you go it still it still closes so I just wanted to show you guys that since I don't have my phone in here but I've had my phone in here before I started using it to film so um, iPhone will fit in there and then this is what I carry apparently I have two hand sanitizers from Bath and Body Works I usually just carry one but for some reason I have two in there. I have my card holder right here. This is in the monogram print and it has like the fuchsia lining. This goes with me everywhere I go. If I switch out my bags, I always carry this with me. So what I have in here is my ID and my main credit card and my Costco card in there. 
I have my six ring key holder, which holds, you know, my house keys. And also I am missing one of the little things here. I don't know where it went, um, but I don't have like a key fob in here. It's just my keys. And I really do like this because I feel like it protects your bags. I don't know if it's going to make a difference here with the suede, but when I'm using like a leather bag, I just don't want my keys scratching. So that's why I always carry my keys here. I have the Louis Vuitton key clay. This is my very first Louis Vuitton SLG ever. Had it since 20, gosh. 2017 2018 I think so it's been a while and it's been holding up I just carry extra cards and some debit cards and everything in here and that is what I keep in that I have a bunch of receipts when I pay and I get handed my receipt I just stuck it in the bag I don't really organize so I have a few receipts and then I have another receipt and three more things. I have my car keys right here, not too exciting, Toyota Camry, very reliable car, I love it, and really good gas mileage, not electric, gas. <laughs> And then I have my AirPods. This is the AirPod 2 or something, like just the old, old version. So that is there. It has like a really slim pink case. And lastly, I have the Rare Beauty Lip Gloss. So this is a pretty thick lip gloss, as you can see, and that fits fine in there. And that is all I have in this bag here as you can see on the interior it has this wave lining the very bottom is the canvas there is also like a little secret compartment in the front flap right here i don't use this at all i think i put like a hundred dollar bill one time in there when i went to the casino and never used it so um but i did take it out already but right now i don't have anything in there and this bag is now absolutely empty and as you can see, it, it does kind of lay flat if you don't have anything in the bag. And just without anything in here, this bag is already a little bit on the heavier side because of this chain. It is pretty heavy. And then also the, um, the, the little metal thing right there. It doesn't bother me though. It's still very comfortable. I do like carrying this bag as a double strap like that. It's pretty comfortable. The only thing I would say um, or let you guys know is that when it's like this, it, it does tend to like slide off kind of easily. So um, if that bothers you then just be prepared for it the most comfortable way that i carry this bag is crossbody so you can also have this like as a single strap like this but it is very long i'm five foot two and as you can see it is super long let me kind of let me move let me move this a little bit so you guys can see better. Okay, so this is how it falls on me, just, you know, with its single strap. And then if I was to wear it crossbody, which this is the most comfortable way that I carry it, is crossbody. It's still very long. But what I do is I kind of like, I don't know how to explain it, but I do that so that it kind of shortens the length a little bit and it does help. So this is where it falls as a single strap. If I, you know, like have it like that. Um, and then if I was to do crossbody, that's how it would fall. So this is the most comfortable way that I wear it. And this is the most common way I wear it so that it doesn't like slip off.
it's comfortable and because it is a mini bag you can't just like overstuff it it holds everything I need but you can't like there's no room for a lot of extras so it doesn't get any heavier than you know what I already have so it's not like you could fit a water bottle in here and then makes it even like more heavy so that's what I like about it is it kind of forces me to just put or take my essentials with me and I travel a little bit lighter with this so to say because you know like the bag's already heavy but I think if I was wearing a bigger bag I would put more stuff in there which will make it a lot heavier so um I really like that about this bag and I think it's just super cute it could be casual you could dress it up it's just so versatile and I really 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 like this bag it is one of my most favorite bags in my collection I would say like it's actually my favorite bag in my collection and I've held off on getting this until recently I don't know why but I'm really glad that I finally did because this bag is amazing and I cannot recommend it enough all right you guys so that concludes my short what's in my bag video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video and if you have any other questions comments or feedback for me leave them down in the comment section below as always i hope you have a blessed day i hope you have a fabulous day and i'll see you next time bye guys